Hey guys, it's Zoe for Thursday, and um, I actually just finished making my video, and then my laptop did something really weird and deleted it or something. So now I'm gonna redo it. <laughs> um, so first, uh, Jessica was talking about unusual symptoms, and she was asking about which ones we have. So I was gonna kind of just that. And out of the ones that she mentioned, I have. Loss of I get loss of sight. I lose a lot of hair, but I think that's because um, I, I like it's never I don't get bald spots or anything. I have like a lot of really thick hair, um, probably about as much hair as humanly possible to have is on my head. Like my hair is really thick and there's a lot of it, so I think that might just be why I lose more than most people because I have more than most people. So I don't know if for me that's really a symptom but yeah and uh disorientation and when i lose my sight it's not quite the same as it's different than like what you're talking about um it gets really blurry um it's easier to see things that far away and everything just gets really blurry and it always happens seems to happen usually around the same times of day um usually when i get up in the mornings it's like that for a few minutes and then if it happens it'll be like start in like the middle of second period and to end in the middle of fourth which so that means I have that during, uh, it'd start in Spanish, then I'd have it all throughout chemistry, and then it would end in math, which are kind of the worst classes to get that in, I would think. Other than well, language would suck too, but yeah. So it's more so reading. I can't read then. I don't go completely black. I have before, but I mean, it's been a while. So it's more so like everything gets blurry, and a lot of the time, most of the time, if I'm not focusing on something, it's blurry anyways. But like when it gets like that, it no matter how hard I try to look, how focused I am on it or whatever, it's blurry. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna tell you a little story. Yesterday I was pretty sick, and I wasn't feeling well. It was at the beginning of third period, because third period I have chemistry, and we were doing a lab. Before we went into lab, sorry, I'm going to have to like, stop and take breaths a lot, because this is too much talking for me right now. But, um, before we went to the lab, I texted my mom, and was like, I think I might need to go home. Because, like, my boyfriend had been bug buggy, bugging me, and he was like, through my friend, he was like, telling me, it's like, if you don't call your mom and tell her you need to go home, I'm going to call her for you, because, yeah, I wasn't feeling well. Um, and so I texted her, it's like, I think I might need to go home. It turns out she didn't get that text, as I found out later, but so we went into the lab. Well, our lab tables are really high, and, um, and... Like, so if you sit in the chair, you're not going to be able to see up there. You're not going to be able to reach. And so it's kind of like standing room only anyways, the lab room. So everyone's standing the entire class period, which obviously I can't do. Um, so most of the time when we do labs, I'll, like, do stuff on the ground for cleaning something. If I have to stir something, whatever, I'll sit on the ground and do it. I'll just be sitting on the floor stirring or whatever. Um, so, yeah, labs are already kind of hard as it is, so I was kind of scared going into that, and while we were doing the lab, at one point, I just kind of fell, and, um, I realized I couldn't get back up, I sh and after I fell, I just kept getting weaker and weaker and weaker, and I'd been sick, this wasn't, before this, it wasn't really potty stuff, I was just having, like, throat gunk, stomach gunk, I was... Like, I don't even know, I don't know what I have, but I have something other than pots. Like, there's a bunch of white spots in my throat, and I've been, I don't know, it's different. So there's something wrong with me. So it's been more so that, but... Um... Yeah, I realized I was too weak to get back up, which, this is typically what happens during my bad episodes. I just get really weak to the point where I can't move, and... That's what I did. I kept getting weaker and weaker. So then it went from I can't get up to I can't sit up. 
to I can't move, I can't lift my head up, I can't do anything. And everyone was so kind of busy, they didn't really notice until like the end of the lab. And so one of my friends, there's one of my friends, they picked me up and put me in a rolling chair that was off in the corner somewhere and were pushing me to the hall. Well, when we have labs, we wear these long black aprons that most people end in like their shins or something, but I'm pretty short, so it goes to my feet, so it's like my ankles. Let me use my camera. Um, and, sorry, this is a bad video. I'm not feeling well. It's just a lot going on. Um, so we have to wear these long black aprons, and then we have these goggles that are like really, really bright, co bright and colorful. Every single goggle is pink, green, and blue, and like they're, the different parts are pink, green, and blue. So like the eyepiece will be one color, and the sides will be like another color. So it'll be like green, blue, pink, blue, pink, green, green. Blue. I already said that, huh? Well, anyways, like so, like each piece is a different color, and they're all pink, green, and blue, and really bright, and they look ridiculous. Except no one really cares because everyone's wearing them anyways, and we never wear them outside of the lab. Um, until yesterday. Um, so they decided to wheel me to the office where the nurse's office is. And so they put me in that chair and we were like, they were pushing me down there. Um, she was offering to carry me on her back at first. I guess that was before she realized how limp I was. Like, I wasn't going to be able to hold on at all. Um, so yeah, they're pushing me in this rolling chair down the hall to the office on the other side of the school. And we're, st we're all still wearing our aprons and goggles, so we looked pretty ridiculous, and everyone going down the halls to the classes and whatnot just gave us really weird looks. It was really funny. Um, what makes it even better is I have very odd friends. I love them, but they're odd. And um, my friend that was pushing me, to, pushing me in the chair, she was like making sound effects as we went. So not only did we look absolutely ridiculous with the aprons and the neon colorful goggles, like she was making sound effects and stuff, which I like what else? But um so yeah, it looked really weird. It was fun. Not really, but it was funny. Not exactly a fun experience, but I've gotten to the point where I've had I have so many stories just like this, where I've had that experience so many times it's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me anymore. It doesn't freak me out. I used to get really embarrassed. And at this point, I just don't care. Because it's happened so many times instead of in front of so many people in, like, the most awkward situations ever. That it just doesn't matter to me as much as it used to. Now I just kind of sit back and laugh at it. Um. Yeah. And the whole time I was in there, my principal kept talking to me about eating more protein. And I thought it was really funny because that past week I had been eating better than I had in, like, forever. Months and months and months. Because usually I can't eat very well. I can't eat very much. I usually don't have much of an appetite and eating will make me sick and stuff like that. So it's pretty normal for me to not be able to eat, like, as much as I did before I got sick. But that week I had been eating, like, just like I used to. I had an appetite, which is so weird. I was hungry and that never happens. Like, I wasn't having to force myself to eat small amounts of food. I was hungry for larger amounts. So, I mean, I'd actually been eating really well, and he was, like, just kept talking to me about how I need to eat better. It's like, okay. So I thought that was kind of funny, too. But, um, yeah. Just thought I'd share that wonderful story with you guys. Because it was fun. Um, like, ugh, I keep saying that, but it really wasn't. It obviously wasn't. I couldn't move. I felt pretty horrible, so of course it wasn't fun, and I still feel pretty horrible, which is why I'm not at school right now, and I'm laying in bed, but it was funny. I've come to the point where I just, you just gotta find the humor in it, otherwise, that's the, that's the only way to do it, just find the humor. Um, so yeah, I wish I had, like, a picture of that, because I'm sure we all looked interesting. We didn't realize we were still wearing our goggles and aprons until we got to the office. Um, yeah. So, 
So, I'm pretty nervous about, because I'll probably try to go back to school tomorrow. I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm going to try. And the thing is, tomorrow's another purpose of the day. Like I've said before in, in other videos, I don't do well with those. I get really sick. Really, really sick. Like, every single purpose of the day we've had, I ended up being really sick. On the ground, unable to move, carried out, whatever. So, and I have to make it through Friday. Okay, my mom's rule is if I miss a Friday, then I can't go do stuff on, like, um, the weekend. Like, if you miss school, you can't do stuff that afternoon. You know, you can't go hang out with your friends when they get out of school. If I miss a Friday, I can't do stuff on the weekend. And so that's okay, because I usually don't have plans on the weekend, like, ever. But one of my friends was actually doing, like, a birthday thing on Saturday that I really wanted to go to. And that means I have to make it through Friday, which is also pebbles of the day, which makes it really worse. Plus, I've already been really sick. So this is kind of a recipe for disaster. So if you guys could, like, cross your fingers for me, pray, whatever it is that you do, that'd be awesome. Because I don't want to have two really bad episodes in one week that have to be some kind of record. Like, I have... I've had more than one episode in a week, but not, like, really bad ones in the way this week's going. I just might. Okay. Really long video. So, I hope you guys are doing well. Um. Bye.